Hi, I'm Art Schultz calling, uh, talking to you from uh, KIS EdTech, and um, I'm here to talk about how to use Google Drive to transfer or for images, video, and whatnot from your camera roll to your Google Drive. Um, this is a way that you could turn information into your teachers. So the first thing you need, need to do is actually go into your Google Drive app. Um, this is on all the KIS iPads. Uh, if you can't find it easily, just swipe left into the Google, uh, to your search and t start try typing the word drive. Now it brings in the sign-in screen. This is where you're going to log in with your KIS student email address. I'm going to log into my normal email address right now. Actually, I'm going to log into my student email address. So now I'm bring, it's bringing up my, my Google Drive. It says, welcome to Google Drive. I've got my, uh, my drive. This is where it's going to show all my, my documents. My, my student uh, Google Drive doesn't have anything on it. Um, this is the button where uh, people have shared uh, uh, files with you. This may be where your teachers may have, uh, have shared uh, a document to you for class. Start is where you can actually uh, ta uh, tick a, uh, the star on the, the document to um, make it uh, come to the top of the list. But the thing I'm more interested in right now is the Uploads button here. This allows me to upload things from, uh, from my iPad's camera roll. So if I press the plus button above, and I can add a new document, I can add a new spreadsheet, I can add a new folder. That's what I'm going to start with right now is adding a new folder. So I'm going to give this a name. Uh, I'm going to call this... Um, you might want to actually call it by uh, by your teacher for this particular teacher. So you might want to uh, maybe say it's uh, C block art, and you might even want to put your your name. Um, okay, so I've. Um, Made a, made a folder, and now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to now upload a, a uh, photo or uh, video. So now I can go, uh, have ac uh, access to things that are stored on my, on my iPad. So if I go to my camera roll, I can select an image, and now it's uploading that photo. But currently, it's only just uh, this is just putting it anywhere. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell that photo that I want to move it. So now I can move that folder that into my C block folder and move that here. If I have more photos that I need to upload, I can keep on adding more into that uh, that photo. So now I have a uh, have a second thing uploading. So this uh, this will work for um, all uh, photo for formats and all video formats. Um, well, that's the nice thing about Google Drive. Um, again, you can also um, use this to share individual documents with your teacher, but make sure that you share things with the proper naming that your teacher would like you to use. So, so that they, when they get the document, they actually understand who's it from and uh, where it's coming from and uh, when, so they can help to organize themselves after the fact. So now I've got two, two photos. So the second photo just uploaded. I'm going to move that one again. So I'm pressing the, this button above, above here to give me an action, and I'm moving that to a folder. And I'm just hitting Move here. So now those two, uh, two items have been moved. So if I go back to my drive... I have two files, but they both live inside that C block uh, folder. So if I pre press the side arrow here now, I can actually invite, if I want to turn these things into my teacher, I can do, uh, do th something right now. So I can actually click on the little button here and hit share. And from here, 
I can choose if they, they can edit that, that document or they can view that folder. So at the minute, I'm just going to leave that on uh, can edit and I'm going to share that with my teacher. Remember to type in, make sure that you're typing their email address in properly. Maybe your teacher's written their email address on the on their marker board right now, so that you can copy that. If I hit add, that do, uh, that folder now has been sent to your teacher, and it's done. The important thing now is to hit close, and before you finish using the iPad, that you go down and sign out of Google Drive. This allows, it makes it so the next person that uses your, uh, the, the iPad that you're using will not be able to mess around with uh, your files. So please make sure that you sign out and thank you for watching my video.